Hey, Chris Undertaking with Kevin and Luca. We're digging high up in the hills of the Dale District, getting that gold. We are gonna find a lot of gold! So what Kevin doesn't want to do is introduce himself, but this is Kevin, the Chocolate Man, and he's my digging partner for today. Up here at 29 Bombs. We're gonna see what gold we can get on a new spot we've never dug before. Let's see what we got! Kevin set up his gear on the inside of a wash. It was planned to run the material that was going down and along that wall while I dug an intersection of three washes. But I'll let Luca explain. This is our area, and that's Kevin's area, and we're gonna dig here, he's gonna dig there, and then we're gonna test the results up at the truck. Kevin, what you doing out here? Uh, digging for gold. Luca, what are you doing? Eating applesauce. And I know what you're thinking. Is that Bigfoot? Sadly, no. It's just Kevin. And Luca was amazing. He jumped between the two prospecting operations to help us process our dirt. And the time had come for our first clean out. Since this was our first time at this spot, we were just trying to determine if the gold was near the top or down deep. All right, we're doing our first clean outs. We're gonna see what we get. Cowboys versus Eagles, here we go. Kevin, you get gold? I don't know what that is. It definitely looks like gold. So Kevin found one little speck, and I found two nice pieces myself. We found gold at both spots. Now we're gonna dig deeper and bigger to try to find more gold. So dig deeper we did. Was that a haiku? In my hole, I started to find some big, big rocks. So I was hoping for some big gold. The score was two to one. I was up on Kevin by one gold piece. The Cowboys were winning. Hey, Kevin, look what hat I'm wearing. Do you like my hat? You guys taking an L today? That's mean, I don't <laughs> like that. Kevin continued to work his area, trying to find that gold so he could catch up to me. His spot in the material he was digging was making me nervous because it looked like a great spot for gold. I took a halftime break, sat in my hole, and just grabbed some rocks and threw them away. But soon realized I needed to put some effort into this and had to grab some big rocks and throw them out of my hole so I could see if there was big gold underneath. I dug deep enough that I could bury a mistake in there if I needed to. I was hoping for big gold from this hole. We did a clean out and we were hoping for gold. We met up at the truck to pan out our results to see what the score would be. Hey Kevin, you got any gold? No. No gold? Well, as an Eagles fan, Eagles maybe. Are oh, Eagles are winning, whatever. Maybe you should put in Nick Foles. Maybe he'll get you some gold. At least get me a ring. That's true. Kevin got skunked, which is usual for an Eagles fan. This was my chance to take a huge lead in this competition. However, I didn't do much better at all. Really hard to see. There's a tiny piece of gold right there. For all that shoveling, that's all I got. I was now up three to one, but we were both tired of digging and we decided to start metal detecting and exploring. Fine, Luca. Found these three rocks that it was attracting. So it was pinging on these three rocks. And these look very similar to gold bearing ore that I've gotten in the past. So we're going to take them home and we'll crush them up, right, Luca? Yep. So we found an area that exposed bedrock everywhere. And obviously, someone had been there in the past, chipping away and taking samples. So we decided to do the same. We took samples from multiple areas that were pinging on our metal detector. The material was dense and was full of copper and iron, which was a good sign that there might be gold. So we definitely had to take it home to crush it. Right hand hit the wrong. Okay, we got a minor injury. No. That's a mining joke. We collected a bunch of samples, big and small. We were getting signals and hits everywhere along this canyon with this exposed bedrock. So something about this rock is pinging the crap out of this. 
Kevin, guess who's my second favorite team in the NFL? <laughs> whoever's beating the Cowboys. No, whoever's playing the Eagles. I ended up winning the gold digging competition that Kevin didn't even know was a gold digging competition. But that's okay. I'll take a win. After collecting the rock samples, we called it quits because we wanted to get home and watch the second half of the NFL games. Street the stadium's on. So the hockey team was the Broad Street Bullies because they'd fight everybody. They were the bullies. Eagles fans, they're so proud of little things like that. Hi. They're gonna lose. I think they're actually winning and they're gonna beat the Titans, but it's cool. Whatever, whatever. We just want to make sure you're in the playoffs so we can beat you. Right, Cowboys fans. 11 and one, I think we're there. <sighs> Even though we didn't find a lot of golden area, we had a lot of fun and much more prospecting needed to be done there. But what did we do with all those rock samples we took? I took them home where they'll sit in a bucket for the next six months. Nope, just joking. I'm hoping to crush them shortly and I'll post a video of the results because I'm really excited to see if there was any gold in that material that was pinging on our metal detectors. If you enjoy finding gold and you love my channel, please subscribe. Thank you again for your support. Chris Undertaking out and heavy pans.